This week, we're gonna run a couple reef-related errands, and we're also gonna do my first ever Q&A. Let's go. What's up, coral people? If you are new here, my name is Remy, and this is the Bahama Llama Coral YouTube channel. For those of you watching in the future, please disregard this message. But this channel is on the road to 10 thousand 10k by 2021 so if you haven't yet please like subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know whenever i post new videos if you don't know i post reef related videos every single week for the reefing hobbyists just like you so today as i kind of unwind from the stress of the frag swap i wanted to do an easy q a so if you haven't followed my instagram channel that's where this all started i have a bunch of questions that i'm going to run through and i'm going to answer but we also got to run some reef related errands. I need some DI resin. So we're going to head to the local fish store and, you know, look around and see if we might find something that we like. And I have a good feeling that we're going to find something we like. Let's go. So I'll get started with inland underscore reef. What's up, Tyler? He has a good question here. How do you manage three reef tanks, YouTube and personal slash work life? It is insanely difficult and it is becoming more and more difficult as we move along here because i know that we're headed back into what seems to be a lockdown phase but uh as we were kind of opening back up again i was getting busier with work because we were able to do remote broadcasts and things like that if you don't know my day job is radio i am on a morning show in st louis uh, and with that comes a lot of remote broadcasts and things like that and now that i'm about 40 some videos into this year i my goal was 50. i've noticed that the reef tanks have taken a little bit of a back seat which is not awesome right uh, so i've been playing some catch up on making sure that those are all good to go thomas.tarrant says why did you start a youtube channel well the short story is that <laughs> i just wanted an outlet to to post my reef stuff you know i just i knew that having been a presenter most of my life and you know been on radio and theater and all that kind of stuff like i have a passion for you know being in front of people and also teaching you know i think that was one of the biggest things in college for me was that i was going into college to be a biology teacher that's what i wanted to do and so when i got to college and they were like oh you need all this math prerequisite stuff, I was like, yeah, I'm not super strong in math. So to answer your question, I would say that part of it is that presentation background that I have. And then the other part of it is teaching, you know, I might not be an expert in this field, but at least I can teach you what I've learned in my process. So I hope that helps. We pulling up to the corner reef. We pulling up to the corner reef. Looks like there's some people here today, maybe front row parking for corner reef only so we just got to the corner reef but let's answer another question romano spamo says if you were to be any type of coral what would you be i would probably be a fungia plate because i would want to be able to move so i'd want to be able to puff up and just let the current take me wherever and then i could explore all parts of the ocean how sweet would that be? Cody Cumberland 22, have you ever thought about selling frags uh, as a second source of income instead of just one day a year? I've thought about it a little bit, but I just feel like if I was gonna do it, I would wanna do it right. I'd wanna get a whole farm going. I'd wanna make sure that the quality of everything was awesome. But yeah, I've, I've just, you know, I sell frags here and there on the side just to kind of sustain the hobby, but it's nice, you know, if every frag swap I'm making you know, about a thousand dollars. So I've got a, a couple grand to spend on supplies and things like that as I need them throughout the year. How much money I've spent in the hobby? <laughs> you know, I, I did a video a while ago on how much like my setup was, and that came out to be, I think in the neighborhood of maybe five or $6,000, but I would say with water, with more tanks, with more coral, probably in like the twenty to $25,000 range over the last five or six years. So yeah, just don't tell my wife that. Now, if I bought more of these corals right here, <laughs> it'd be a lot more expensive. This piece is one of my favorites. It's so awesome. Acan Attic says, this is too much pressure. And I totally get that. But here's, here's something that will take the pressure off. Okay, here we go. 
This is one of my weeping willow frags that's been here for probably five or six months now and tripled in size. Jim Tang, if you are ever feeling any stress, these kinds of wavy corals usually help me. DI resin here. And then also got a Zoa frag that I'm pretty excited about. But I'll show you that when it opens up later. Pix Reef says, how long do you have to wait after your cycle is finished to add coral? Some would argue that you don't necessarily even have to let your tank cycle before you add coral. Normally what I'll do, and this has been successful for me, is I'll set up the tank, get the sand, get the rock set, everything ready to go, light ready to go. I don't run the light during the cycle, but I'll add bacteria, I'll add ammonia, let the bacteria do its thing. And then, you know, two or three weeks later, it's usually good to go. Tigerboy.h2o says, how's the macro algae pico tank doing it's doing pretty well you know you'd actually be surprised at how hard it is to grow algae now, i know it's not hard for you tiger boy because you have some of the most amazing macro algae tanks in the game probably the best i would say at least on instagram so if you haven't seen his tanks you got to go check them out but it's insanely hard to keep the nutrients up high enough to make the algae happy if that makes sense so i added all of the algae at once in the beginning and i've just been trying to catch up and catch up and catch up and been adding neo nitro and been adding uh, kato grow and a whole bunch of stuff i'll definitely do an update on the pico tank in the near future here i want to do a wrap on each one of the tanks as the year closes out just to kind of see where we're at and where we started so we'll do an update video soon simplified coral says do you want to trade stickers Sure. Natalie's Z89 says, my Zoas seem unhappy and losing their popping color. Any ideas why? I would check your phosphates and your nitrates. Zoas are not fans of high phosphates as are most corals. I keep my phosphates between 0.02 and 0.05 if I can. However, they do like a little bit of nitrate, and I will say that most corals do like a little bit. Even SPS uh, will help with the coloration. I keep my nitrates between 5 ppm and 10 ppm. Kevin Michelson says, where did you first purchase your toadstool? I purchased my toadstool at Art of Aquaria, which is here in St. Louis. It's actually in a really cool area called Tower Grove Park. They have since changed ownership, so the store looks a little bit different. They're more freshwater based now, but that's where I first saw the Weeping Willow leather coral, and that's when I hopped on and I had to buy it. And it's doing well right now, and it's actually started this whole new like toadstool addiction. This is the first time that I'm showing this. I actually got this coral at the Coral Crib, which is in central Illinois. It's that uh, that reef shop that I did an entire episode on. I got this from them. They snipped me off a little piece. It's growing really well, but how cool is this piece? This just adds to the collection of really cool toadstools that I have now. Cock movie out here. What's going on? So I gotta go run a quick errand and I gotta get, I wanna see if they have super glue at the dollar store because last time they did not have any more. The Cheapskates Reef says, any future upgrades for a bigger tank? And yes, that is in the plan for next year at some point. I really wanna consolidate a lot. I wanna make everything one cohesive look and feel. I feel like right now it's very hodgepodge. It's very just like some parts from this build, some parts from this build not awesome equipment here, awesome equipment here. For the next build, I wanna make sure that I do it the right way all the way through. Biggie Cheese Nem says, start a clownfish harem with anemones. I don't have to because my buddy Ben just did and it's pretty awesome. So Ben is already due for another update. We've kind of highlighted his tank throughout the last, I don't know, six to eight months or so. He's moved houses he's moved his tanks he has a new tank now that clown harem tank he built it in a wall it's just it's really cool and i can't wait to take you back to ben's house so we can show you that harem tank because he went crazy with buying anemones and they all look awesome and the clowns look happy for me right now i don't think i can handle another tank hamada's reef says what is your biggest fail that you've had 
uh, or to anyone you know. My biggest fail, uh, Inappropriate Reefer actually had me on his channel. He was talking about the biggest uh, fails that YouTubers have had, and mine was doing a water change without mixing the salt. So now I have a sign in my mixing room that says, did you mix the salt? So I always see it now. Thankfully, I caught it in time to raise the salinity back up in that tank and do another water change and another water change on top of it. I didn't lose anything, but gosh, it was one of those like dumb moments when there's everything else going on in the world and you don't think about it. That happened to me. King Doc Taylor says, what coral do you think is good to frag and make some money off? Well, I would say if you could figure out a way to buy a stratosphere zoa, grow them and frag them, you would be making a lot of money. Those frags go anywhere from 1500 to 2500 to even $3,000 per polyp. But good luck, because it's super difficult. It's one of those corals that if you look at it the wrong way, it's like, okay, see ya, woo, and it melts and dies. I would say any SPS, honestly, anything super colorful, your Walt Disney's, your home records, those types. Honestly, what I would do is I would pick out some corals that you really like and you, you know you can grow well and just propagate from there. You can make money off pretty much any coral. I took some GSP, some Green Star Polyp to the frag swap and just put it on the $10 side. They were huge chunks and they were some of the first corals to go. So beginner corals, high-end corals, what do you got? What do you like? You can propagate, you can make some money. Man.made.peril says, will you be doing another Weeping Willow giveaway? Why don't we add that as a prize for the 10K? I like that. So once we get to 10,000 subscribers, that'll be one of the prizes. Hoping to get a CJ on board, maybe some OSA swag, maybe we can get some other stuff too. But yeah, for sure, let's do a Weeping Willow frag in that 10,000 uh, subscriber giveaway. Zoa Tank boys, love your channel. Appreciate you guys. Uh, you can only pick one coral out of your tank. Which one is it? I'm gonna have to say the Weeping Willow, leather coral. I think for its size, for its flow, and for its uh, ease of care, I think that that is the one that I would keep. Blake Stewart 112 says, overall, what's your favorite part of reefing? Frag swaps, maintenance, new corals, etc." dot, dot, dot. My favorite part of reefing is the community. Uh, I think that the community is so awesome. I love going out to frag swaps. I love going out to the conventions that we put on every year and seeing everybody and talking shop because I feel like most of us don't get a chance to talk shop normally to our spouse or to our friends because there's not really that many people that get what we do. So I think that the community is awesome. Red Ryan 111 says, what is your shoe size? We're 13. Freshwater Joe official says, when are you coming to visit? Well, Freshwater Joe, I'd like to thank you for the smooth transition into mentioning Scott Crow. <laughs> and of course, everybody at Ocean State Aquatics. I'll be honest, I was thinking about coming and surprising you guys in January, February of next year, but we gotta see what this dang virus is gonna do. I really wanna make it safe for not only you guys, but of course my family and traveling around right now at this very moment doesn't seem like a good idea. But I do wanna visit, I do wanna chill, I do wanna hang out on that couch and just kinda of watch the fish there at the new store. In the meantime, you guys keep putting out great content for YouTube and for Facebook and I'll keep consuming it and obviously talking about it on my channel. If you have a question that I didn't answer in the Q&A, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below and I'll respond. When you participate in the conversation, that means the world to me. I love it when we can get a good conversation going in the comments. Oh, I forgot. Uh, I need to show you that Zoa that I got. So let's, let's head on over here to the frag tank and I'll show you. And if you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. Oh, and I wanted to mention, thanks to the frag swap, it pushed me over my savings goal to get a new camera, which is huge. So if you came out to the frag swap and bought a coral from me, you helped me out immensely. I've been patiently waiting for Black Friday deals to kind of sprout up and fortunately and unfortunately, it seems like everywhere is doing like a month long Black Friday sale. So it's kind of hard to track right now. But this Canon 7D that I'm shooting on right now is almost 10 years old and it's just time. We also put up our Christmas decorations. What? We've already watched Home Alone 1 and 2. What? Some may say, it's too soon. I say it's 2020 
and it makes me feel good. Now pass the nog. Does anybody actually like nog? Do you like nog? Just a weird, like I'd rather just do like a, like straight whiskey or something. You know, like a bourbon. Just cut to the chase. All right, be safe and I will see you next week.